Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the 2017-18 edition of Women's Basketball. And I'm ready for questions. Mr. McGraw, would you like to start us off? What's, no? what's the status? Have you heard back on <coughs> Jessica Shepard and also other uh, the injury situations with Marina, Catherine, and all? It's been a pretty frustrating preseason with uh, Kat and Bree and Michael all sideline with injury. Michael Johnson is now back. She's uh, She's been, I guess, officially cleared, so um, tomorrow she'll be ready to go. So it's great to have her back. We really need another guard. I mean, we're just, we're a little shorthanded at the guard spot, so excited to have her back. She, she gives us so much a calming presence. Um, and Catherine Westbelt is out in at least another three weeks. So we're, we're really, really anxious to get her back because she is the glue to our team, and we, we really need some glue right now. So we're, we're hoping that in three weeks, you know, she's ready to go. So we're, we're thinking around November 1st for her. Brianna, of course, will we'll be missing the season. Um, Lily is, is probably 80% right now. She's been uh, hobbled by an ankle injury since August. She's just started going full court a couple days ago, so she hasn't been in all of practice yet, but she's, she's pretty close. Uh, Jessica Shepard, we still have not heard from the NCAA. We, we, um, we sent the paperwork in. They sent back a few more questions. So we've, we've sent those back, so it'll probably be uh, maybe another week before we hear officially, which is, it's, you know, it's really, it's, it's hard to plan when you don't know if she's going to be playing or not. And she's such a good player that we would like to, to have her out there. So, you know, it's been, it's been a little frustrating. Mm -hmm. Marina was out all summer, and she she has been back since practice began. So she is she's she's good. Arthur, what's it been like so far? I guess the transition without Lindsay being out there on the floor, and with Bree going to be sitting out this season as well. It's a it's a different season. I, I think I've been spoiled. Skyler for four years, Lindsay for four years, and now uh, breaking in a new point guard is always a, a kind of bit of a challenge, especially when she hasn't been able to practice. So that's been difficult. Uh, I think that now we're starting to see how rusty we look um, because there's somebody new at the helm and trying to put those pieces together, different people playing together. So it, it's been really, really challenging. And, and I think it's, um, it's kind of fun because it's a, a whole new puzzle for me to put together. So I'm looking forward to that. But um, we definitely have, you know, trying to figure out who's going to be the backup. Marina's shouldering most of the load right now. I'd love to move her back to the two where she really is, is most comfortable. Michael Johnson, now that she's back, she's going to play some time at the point. So we're, uh, we're, we're ready for that too. You've never had a new point guard that didn't have all sorts of eligibility in front of her. How, how does that kind of change that dynamic where you, you still have to teach, but it's not like you're investing in a long-term you know, solution? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's the first time we've ever had a transfer. And to have her just for one year, to, the point guard is such an important position. Everything revolves around the point guard. It's the most important position on the floor. So to you you want to be patient, but you have to bring her along so quickly that it, you, you can't really spend the time that you would have um, with a freshman coming in. So it's, um, you know, I think we're on a little different timetable. However, she's got great experience, so she doesn't need to be brought along quite as, as uh, slowly as a freshman would. So, you know, I think there's good and bad. I think she's got that great experience that we're banking on, but she's, you know, she hadn't played in a year. So, yeah. What does she do well? You know, she can handle the ball, which, you know, with, when Lindsay got the ball, everybody relaxed, and, and we need somebody that can really handle pressure. So she can, she can handle the ball with pressure. She can get us into stuff. She's really smart. She picks things up quickly, so she'll get us into the offense and be able to really direct. She's very vocal, which is a really good trait to have. Kind of set a really high bar the last eight years or so. This year with Brianna gone and some of the adjustments and everything, do you feel like it's a more loose year, or do you have some house money to play with <laughs> a little bit here? Well, if if people would rank us accordingly, I would I would feel that way. I I don't know. Actually, I haven't seen the rankings, so I don't know where we're ranked. But um, I, I feel like we. We have a lot of potential. We have great guards. I mean, Enrique, Marina, Jackie, we've got a, those guards are as good as anybody in the country. So we definitely have talent. And uh, freshmen coming along, uh, Michaela Vaughn in particular has really, really shown some really great signs of uh, being able to contribute right away. 
So, you know, I think our potential, trying to fulfill our potential, if Kat comes back, I'm going to feel a lot better. If we get Jess, I'll feel a lot better about that. But right now I think it's just incredibly stressful trying to, to get us to be at the level that we need to be at to compete for a national championship. With Kat, I mean, she had the surgery April. in the spring. Mm -hmm. Is it just some complications or what's transpired? Um, yeah, I think there's been some... Um, not, there hasn't been any complications. I mean, the surgery went really well. Everything was good. It's just she's still having some pain. So we're just trying to, to wait until she's pain-free before we clear her. You talked about Cat uh, kind of being your glue, and you don't know how much you can lean on her right now. You've got a couple of guards that have a lot of experience in this program. I mean, is it time for Enrique and Marina to kind of take ownership of it, do you think? And have they, perhaps? You know, I, I think that their uh, their style of play is is a little different because we we need them to score so much that it's hard for them to be the one that's uh, that's doing the blue collar things and you know setting great screens and and being the defensive stopper and um, so you know they're they're just trying to score and that's that's what we need them to do. So we need a couple other people on the floor that are willing to do those those other things and rebound and defend and get assists. see most of your rebounding coming from? Uh, I, think, I think you're going to be surprised with Michaela Vaughn's um, activity level. She's a really high energy player. So she's somebody that I'm counting on. Jackie Young, I think, may be our leading rebounder this year. Um, and we'll hope that the post can, can have a uh, kind of a committee of, of good rebounding while they're in there. Uh, I think Arike needs to rebound more. And that's going to be a, a big part of our defense we have got to rebound better how has jackie sort of improved since last year i know you wanted her to focus especially a little more defensively since you know the scoring was going in a whole bunch of different directions how is she sort yeah. of stepping that role? she looks great she is the most improved player coming off the summer she is aggressive looking for her shot which we really wanted her to do last year she's driving the ball she's scoring a lot of different ways she's passing well um and at the right times, you know she's not giving it up too quickly. Um, she's taking what the defense gives her. Uh, she's taken a really active role at both ends of the floor. Uh, I, I couldn't be happier with any one player than her right now. I think she's going to have a just a tremendous year. And do you see her also kind of stepping in as being one of those vocal leaders on the floor? No, I don't think I don't think she's ready for that yet. Um, I think we have a, a big upper class group, and I think one of them is probably going to take the lead. How uh, devastating was it to just know that Turner was going to take this year off? And I know you said it's kind of been stressful putting the pieces together, but just how devastating was that heading into this year? You know, I, I think when the injury happened, that's, that's when we just felt it. And, and looking ahead, knowing it really takes a year to recover from that. So I, I think we pretty much knew in April that, that she was going to miss this year. Um, so it, it's an opportunity for people to step up and we can play differently. I think we, the way we played against Ohio State, Shoot more threes makes the guards happy. They're uh, they're certainly willing to put up a few more shots, um, uh, but not not having her and Lindsay in the same year kind of changes things a lot and and really it kind of opens up things for people. But it, at the same time, it's uh, it's a lot more questions. And uh, Coco too, do you see that uh, just her being able to step up down? The yeah, she's more? got the experience. I think she definitely when she's on the floor, you, you just feel that calming presence that she has and she definitely has the uh, experience and she's a good passer in the high post really knows the offense and she knows how to get people the ball your offense the last several years has been so predicated on getting it inside debris will, will it take more of a perimeter feel this year yeah yeah i think it's going to uh, i think it has to uh, i think we need to uh, go with our best our best opportunity to score and that's certainly our guards but at the same time, we've got to be able to use the post, and, and we're still going to work the pick and roll. Uh, we're still going to work a lot of different things, but I, th I think we definitely will be more of a three-point shooting team. What about uh, interior defense? It's obviously from the players you've mentioned so far, but that specifically, how will that be? Well, we're going to um, we're going to have to rely on some different things. We're going to be not have the shot blocker inside is is a huge blow to the defense. So we're going to have to take more charges. Uh, we're going to have to maybe work some double teams. We're going to have to help each other a little bit more, make sure our rotation is perfect, uh, maybe play more zone. Uh, just a, a lot of different things we'll have to try without Bree. Is there, uh, do you see, I guess, um, sort of another chip on the shoulder of these girls after just falling short again last year and how they've been able to help you see them 
stepping up even more once again. Yeah, I, I think we definitely feel that way. You know, getting so close uh, without Bree, and, and and especially when it ends in such a close game where you know one play could have really changed the outcome, and and I think one defensive play could have changed the outcome. So I think we're really focused. I think we have a we need to have a better commitment defensively. I, I think we've seen a little bit of that so far, but we need a little bit more. reference you made to people rank us accordingly and obviously there's so many unknown variables that that seems to be the theme here but what's in your mind being ranked accordingly when, when you bring that up you know I I don't know I mean I, I think we're a good team but we're not a great team right now so I would say that uh, we got some work to do before we um, before the season comes but could you talk about the schedule the, uh, yeah, so that's uh, enough to keep me up nights. Um, we we have an incredibly tough schedule. I mean, we we like to play a challenging schedule anyway, but this year is ridiculous. We have to go to Oregon State. We're in a tournament at Gulf Coast uh, with some really good teams, uh, and South Carolina is one of them. We've got Michigan State here. We go to Michigan. Uh, we go to Connecticut. We've got Tennessee. So we've, uh, I think Marquette, another team that's an NCAA tournament team, we've got a lot of, of tournament teams on the schedule in the preseason. And then the conference, of course, will be tough, as it always is. This year, probably the, the toughest, I think the most parity in the league this year. And uh, so hopefully non-conference will prepare us for conference, which will prepare us for the NCAA tournament. And by March, we will be playing our best basketball of the year. How much, uh, how much latitude do you kind of give yourselves to allow this team to grow this year? Since it's, since it's a different team, I mean, not not needing it to be ready first week of November, but to be ready in yeah. January, February. Well, you know, I'm easy going, and I'm, I like to play it loose. <laughs> I'm going to be talking to Mike Bray quite a bit this year, and uh, you know, I I, th I think I can be patient early on, um, but I'm not going to be patient with the upperclassmen. Uh, I think they need to they need to be ready to go. So I, I will be patient with uh, with the two freshmen. <laughs> <laughs> How do you see the freshmen blending into the program? I think Michaela is really she's going to challenge for a starting spot. You know I think the way she's playing right now, um, she's doing all the things we need post to do. She's a quick learner, and uh, I see her getting some some really good minutes. Uh, and then uh, Danielle's coming along. I think she's she's still trying to find her niche right now. So we'll uh, we'll hope she comes along quickly. If you were to have to play today, what what is your starting lineup or what's your rotation? You think? You know, right now Marina, Jackie, Arike, Michaela Vaughn, and Coco would probably be our our five starters. I, I would put Jessica Shepard in there. If, you know, if, if she was eligible, but we're just not sure how to play that right now. So those six, I think five of them. Are you at all because uh, you said before that uh, Shepard said she's unique talent, uh, the way she play? Are you doing some things right now where you're formulating two plans and some of the things that you're doing? Are you doing yeah, we, we we have a backup plan for sure, and we have uh, you know some things that she's going to be really good in. But you know, Catherine Westbelt is is similar. She can do a lot of those things too. So it's it's not as if we're uh, we're pl planning on some things that we'll never use again.